All right, folks, so last up we have phylum platyhelminthes. So this includes um, flatworms, flukes, and tapeworms. Um, these guys are a little more complicated. They do have organ uh, level organization within their bodies. So they have um, a distinct nervous system. We'll see that they have bilateral symmetry with a head that often contains many sensory organs. And then they are triploblastic with those three layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. They don't have a coelom. We'll see coelums or body cavities starting next week, um, but <clears throat> these guys are triploblastic. Um, the digestive system varies. We'll see that some of the free-living ones, like planarians, have a more complicated digestive system. The parasitic um, members of this phylum um, really don't have much of a digestive system because they live inside of their host. They just absorb nutrients uh, directly from the host. So the digestive system varies. Uh, today we'll look at a few different ones. Um, there are free living. So these are flatworms that crawl around and uh, look for food. Um, these belong in what we call class turbellaria. There is a um, big group we call the planarians. Um, I'll, I'll link you to videos of those because they're pretty cool to watch uh, move around. Probably more well known are the parasitic uh, critters. So this includes the trematodes, things like flukes, and the cestodes, which are the actual tapeworms. Um, I, I feel like you would miss out on a lot of your life if you didn't get to see these guys. So. We do have um, some flukes here and a lovely tapeworm here for you guys. Um, so these are both described on page um, 57 and 58. Uh, the flukes you can see on the anterior end, uh, you've got this essentially little sucker here. So that's how they attach to their host. They have this sucker. They um, absorb nutrients, so that sucker uh, really is for attachment. They have a few sensory organs up here, but not too much. Essentially, all of this internal area is dedicated to reproduction. So that's where the ovaries and the testes are. These guys are essentially little baby factories. They um, produce massive numbers of eggs and will shed those out of their host through the feces. Um, similarly, this tapeworm here, um, really not too much structure. On the top of page 58, you can see how they attach. There is a structure called the scolex that has hooks and suckers on it. Uh, pretty much the whole rest of this long convoluted body is made up of little segments called proglottids. And these proglottids are, again, little reproduction factories. So these proglottids can break off. They're full of eggs. Um, they'll pass out of the host in the feces and then, hopefully for the tapeworm, reinfect another person. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I will send out an email with some cool uh, YouTube links for you to watch as well. Work through the um, lab manual answer the review questions in the back, and then you will have a D2L quiz that's posted up um, that you'll have to answer. All right, thanks, and I'll see you all next week.